Hey guys, Stunt Double here. This is my latest build. It's a VTOL Mini Talon. I decided to do something a bit different with this build and use an X frame. But what I've done is replace the plywood internal structure of the Mini Talon with some 3D printed pieces. There are two plates that clamp down on the motor booms. Now these plates are held in place using pieces that glue to the inside walls of the fuselage. And all of the 3D printed pieces work together with a wing spar to give it strength. Now there were a few reasons why I went with an X-frame. Number one is to make the VTOL motor attachment as strong as possible by connecting everything to a central point inside the fuselage. And number two is to make a symmetrical X quadcopter and have it positioned around the CG of the plane. And number three is so I can easily swap out the booms and try a different set of VTOL motors. And number four is so I've got the option of removing the booms and turning it back into a standard plane if I get bored with VTOL. Now the lift motors are Sunny Sky 2216-900KV and they're running some 9x5 triple blade props. Now that's a combo I used to use on tricopters and quadcopters many years ago. Now the motors are facing downwards. I get about 65mm of ground clearance, which is only just enough. The motor mounts are 3D printed. Now I'm not too sure if these will be strong enough, so I might replace them for some metallic ones later on. Now the carbon booms are 12mm carbon tube. They're nice and strong. Uh, up front there's a 3D printed Mark Q canopy and underneath the canopy here I've got the VTX and this is the VTX dipole antenna sticking at the top. The FPV camera is a Runcam Swift Mini. I've got that sitting on a GWS 360 servo. I might put the GoPro on there too, later on. Now the front skid is made up of two parts. The main piece glues onto the fuselage, and this cross piece is held in place with a zip tie. Now that's just used to keep the plane upright and prevent VTOL prop strikes. Uh, this cross piece is designed to break away from the fuselage if I ever have to do an emergency landing in plane mode instead of copter mode. Now the hatch is held in place using magnets. I've got it split in two so I can access the front part of the plane easily. Now these are the 3D printed parts that hold the motor booms in place. Now there's two bolts per boom. That's nice and strong. Now all the 3D printed parts on this plane are done in PLA+. Uh, this is the 4-in-1 ESC for the lift motors. Uh, that's a Racer Star from Banggood. It was left over from an old mini quad. Uh, this one here is a 12 volt regulator for the VTX and the camera. It's a D-Sun. I use them on pretty much every build. Uh, the flight controller slash PDV is a Matek F405 CTR. At the moment I've just got that program with Betaflight because I want to see if I can do manual transitions in VTOL but later on I'll swap it over to ArduPilot. Uh, underneath here there's a 5 volt regulator for the servos. Now the receiver is an Easy UHF. Uh, it's the 8 channel one with the pinouts. Now there are two antennas connected to the Easy UHF. Now this is the main one sticking upright, and the second one is tucked inside the fuselage running lengthways. Now the rear motor is a Sunny Sky 2216-1250. Uh, that's running an RC Timer 9x5 carbon fibre prop. 
Uh, that was left over from my very first mini talon. And inside the fuselage is a 3D printed motor mount. Now the ESC for the rear motor is mounted underneath the fuselage. Uh, it's a Hobbywing Skywalker 50 amp uh, sitting in a 3D printed bracket. Uh, this is a 3D printed tail skid. Now the servos in the tail are Emacs ES08MA2s. And the servos in the wing are some high tech HS65s. Uh, all the servos were left over from my Mini Talon number one as well. So I plan on flying this with a Multistar 5200 4 cell or a 4000. Uh, with the 5200, uh, the flying weight is just over 2 kilos. Uh, it's a bit heavier than I was hoping for. I was hoping for something more like 1.8. Uh, but all the VTOL components have probably added about six to 700 grams to the build. Thanks for checking out the VTOL build. I'll upload some flight videos soon. I'll leave you with a slideshow of all the build pics.